Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a very useful trick to customize your color legend in Tableau. This trick is very useful when you want to show many classes in your color legend. In this example, I have a pie chart that shows percentage of sales for each subcategory. There is a problem here that is very common for Tableau. This pie chart is doing its job showing percentage of total sales for each category. It's quite difficult to look at this pie chart or to interpret this pie chart because it has so many subcategories and we try to squeeze all the information into this one pie chart. What does this slice of the pie show? You won't be able to answer without hovering your mouse over it and look at the tool tape because first thing, the label is not showing because Tableau by default would hide your labels when it tries to overlap with the other labels. When you have a lot of classes in one field, chances are most of the classes won't show in your label. The other problem is when I have a color legend, it's not useful because there are just too many classes in this field. Even when I highlighted a particular class, the label is not even showing because it would overlap with the other labels. So what can we do about this? Now let's head over to our example. Create a pie chart to simulate this problem. Hold your control key and click on sales. Go to our show me and click a pie chart. Now we hold our control key drag sum of sales and drag subcategory into the label. Now we want the subcategory to be on top, so we will drag subcategory above the sum of sales label. To calculate the percentage of total, we will right click the sum of sales, click table calculation, and choose percent of total. Now we have simulated the problem just now. When you click, to, click on label, and we have an option to allow labels to overlap other marks. When you click on it, the labels will show, but it will overlap the other marks, and this will look very messy. We don't want this to happen, so we will uncheck the allow labels overlap other marks options. Now we know that the problem is Tableau doesn't have enough space to show every single label in one page. So what if we can increase the size of the canvas? For example, putting it in one dashboard. So now we create a dashboard, drag our pie chart, go to your size to increase the width of the canvas as well as the height. Now I have fit the whole canvas to my laptop screen to my whole laptop screen, but it doesn't seem to be able to show all the labels as well. So a better solution to this problem is we'll create a color legend with a bar chart. So let's create another shape, name this as legend. Remember that we created this pie chart using subcategory. So in our legend, we will use subcategory, drag it into the rows, now, the columns, we should use the count distinct of subcategory. So we we'll click on subcategory, drag subcategory with your right click, drop it on columns. Reason why we are using right click to drag to drop the columns is we want to select the aggregation method using count distinct. So when we use count distinct of subcategory, every subcategory should have only one distinct category. And that is what we wanted. Change this to entire view. And now we want to color the bar by subcategory. So we would drag subcategory into the colors. Go back to our dashboard. And now we want to drag our legend into the dashboard. And now we can close the original color legend. And this bar chart 
is now our color legend. And we can actually improve this by fitting this bar to the white spaces on the right. The reason we have this white space, white space on the right hand side is because of the axis. Tableau made the axis from 0 to 2, so we want to limit the axis from 0 to 1 so that the bar can fill up the entire space in this region. So we we'll right click on the axis and edit axis. We will set the axis range to fix, fix the end at 1. Automatically, the bar will fill up the entire spaces. We will close this menu. And for our legend, we don't really need the axis and the fill and the header for the axis. So we'll right click and uncheck show header. Right click on subcategory, hide fill labels, and right click on our title to edit. We want this to be in the middle. Now we have a customized legend for our pie chart. Well, in other data visualization tools like Power BI, Expert Fire, when we select a mark on one chart, the rest of the chart should be highlighted by default due to the nature of a visualization tool, except for Tableau. We want the pie chart and the bar chart to be selected together. We would need to add a highlight action in our Tableau. Let's go to our dashboard action. A highlight action. I'm going to name this as legend. Source sheet is the sheet we want to select on, which is our legend. And the target sheet should be our pie chart. Based on subcategory. And now when I select something for in my legend, the pie chart will be selected as well. Now we can even improve this by changing how we want to select the label in our pie chart. Let's go back to our pie chart. Click on the labels and select highlighted. But this will allow us to hide all the labels and show the label only when the slice is selected or highlighted. So when we go back to our dashboard, when you choose a class in your legend, your pie chart should be able to show the label based on your selection. And it won't show any label if you haven't choose any. So that's all for this video. If you find this video helpful, please consider like and share and I'll see you in my next video.